Hello everyone, this is Pam Dele from De La Rush Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android Custom Spinner. What is a custom spinner in an Android application? A custom spinner is a sort of drop-down menu uh, which is uh, basically found at the action bar uh, whereby you have uh, some list of uh, categories you know, you know, in form of a list view but not uh, uh, as robust as a list view. You know like a drop down menu of uh, a particular uh, list so uh, we use a um, custom spinner in Android to actually categorize some uh, some fields probably you have uh, a page that actually talks about a uh, country and you can actually use a spinner you know, a drop down spinner to streamline your uh, search you know in terms of probably uh, continents, you know, uh, is it Africa? Is it um, Asia? Is it um, Europe or America? You know, so that you can be able to streamline that particular um, uh, fragment or particular uh, page, you know, using the custom spinner. But now uh, we we've been used to the Android spinner, which is just the normal list view, you know, probably five uh, options or six uh, menus but now we'll be talking majorly on how to customize that particular spinner you know whereby we have an image view and also a text view you know so that it's going to look more attractive you know in the course of uh, an android ui application okay without much ado i have a project whereby i've developed uh, a custom spinner whereby we have uh we'll be talking about a company in here or let's say companies here uh, we have a, a company name by the right, uh, the logo sits by the left, and we have the URL to the company, that's the, the universal resource locator, the web URL of the particular company beneath the text view of the company name. Okay, that's just how the uh, UI will look like, but I would like to, do, to show you on how it's been developed so that you can be able to use it in the course of your own application and you can be able to as well expand on it and build more on this platform okay i'll be using my android studio as usual as my development environment and i'll be talking firstly about the layout which is the ui of the application it's in xml okay i'll talk about the spinner rules xml okay this is a there's a relative layout uh, with the width and height parents and wrap content respectively the orientation is vertical while the padding is you know which is the all around padding left top uh, right and bottom is 3dp okay uh, we have uh, an image view you know whereby uh, it's going to actually hold the image you know we have we assign an height called image to it so the layout with an height is wrapping content uh, we have the text view uh, afterwards uh, the text view actually has a layout to right of the image definitely is going to like the flow to right you know in a web uh, uh, markup where we CSS where we do a float right and a float left but it's an example you have to specify the layout to the right of which particular height which particular tag are you uh, creating a layout to the right of. okay we have the padding and the layout margin tab there's a text color which is nothing from the drawable color red and there's a text style which is bold okay we assign an id to it which is the company and we have the layout margin left the layout width and the layout height which is rapid content okay uh there's a text view that follows afterwards that text view also is going to have the layout right of the image you know and uh, this is going to actually hold the url you know we give it an id called sub so it's the URL anyway. Okay, it's calling the text color from the drawable, which is dark gray, and the layout margin left is five dp. The width and the height is wrapping the content. We give it an ID, which is the layout is going to be below the content. Can you see this? It is going to write, write actually sits below the ID content. Uh, this one over here. Okay, so definitely it's going to sit beneath uh, the company name. Okay, that's very very. Uh, uh, explainable and understandable okay i'm going to move to the activity custom spinner 
This is a linear layout with an orientation of vertical. The layout with the night is filling the pavement. You have a text view whereby uh, it's also filling the pavement and wrapping content with the width and height respectively. There's a spinner. This is going to talk much about the spinner uh, session, you know, uh, which we actually assign an ID for spinner. And there's a prompt, you know, which is going to be there, uh, look, telling you on what to do at that particular place. You know, it's select your company. After you might have clicked this, the select your company disappears, and the particular company you selected from the drop down is going to be populated on this uh, particular site. So we have the text which hold that actually. Uh, so it's going to be the output of the uh, of the click uh, on item selected uh, uh, menu. Okay, uh, I'll be moving straight to my Java classes where we'll be explaining the logic of how to implement the image view, the text view of a spinner, and also how to use the uh, custom adapter to actually do this very very smoothly. Okay, I'll be talking about the spinner model. The spinner model actually has. Uh, three fields, the company name, the image, and the URL, which I mentioned. Now I'll be talking about using the company name, the image as the logo of the company, and the universal resource liquidator of the web URL of the website of the company. So we're going to have a set and get method if you've been familiar with this in encapsulation. If you've not actually got a group of this, I'd like you to check out my Java uh, tutorial on encapsulation, where we actually created a uh, uh, a private field whereby another class cannot call it directly unless they call this public method which is going to set it and also get the value of the private key based on the parameter passed in from the constructor or from the method so okay uh, we're going to set a company name calling on string uh, tag as uh, this type company name we're going to instantiate with this keyword of the class to assign the company name to it I'm going to set the image as well just the same way we did the company name and also the URL. Now we're going to get it after setting it. We have to return this. You know, the get method needs a return, uh, a return keyword, and it doesn't takes a void uh, tag. Okay, so we're going to get a company name, return this company name, get the image, and get the URL. That is very, very understandable. Okay, I'll we'll talk about the custom spinner. Constant spinner extends activity. Uh, we have a public array list, generic spinner model, which is the object passed in. Uh, so we give it a name called custom list view values array. So we instantiate with the new array list, generic. So we have a text view with an output of null, a custom adapter, these are just fields, adapter, or let's call it variable. We have the custom spinner activity, which is as we have been, as been assigned to null for now. Okay, there's a method called on create, you know, calling on the board to set system. This is a super, you know, writing super uh, method. Okay, uh, we're going to send a content view to the layout of the activity custom spinner. Okay, and we actually uh, assign activity to this particular uh, method. Okay, we have the spinner calling on the spinner example, like uh, casting on the spinner to the ID spinner, and also the output to the text view find view by ID okay um, we're going to set the list data which is a method passed in uh, below I'll talk about this method okay we have the resources but we have the rest and you get the resources method and we're going to have an adapter we're going to instantiate with a new custom adapter we call on the layout spinner rules and the custom list values are we you know and also the rest these are the parameters they passed into the adapter so the spinner example will set the adapter with the value of the adapter gotten from all these uh, uh, content. Okay, we have the spinner example whereby we set an on item selected listener on each spinner. Okay, not an item click listener now. Or, or okay, so we have uh, on item selected, which is going to override the superclass with the adapter view, find the parent view, and also the position and ID. Okay, we're going to add, assign the gotten text from the company and also from the URL, which is sub based on the ID we used. So we have a string output message whereby we're going to output the message select company, a new line concatenated with the value of the company, with a new line concatenated with the value of the URL, the company URL. 
paste from the ID sub. Okay, from this, we're going to pass all this into the output using the set text uh, method. Okay, we're going to do a toast whereby, and uh, there's one aspect we really want you to look at, which is the function to set the data in our, in our real list, which is a set list data I mentioned earlier over here. Over here, okay. That's what the list data method really does. Okay, it does a string uh, uh, called company name. So it's an array whereby it's, this is where I specify the array of the company name, and we have a for loop. You know, starting from the counter variable i equals to zero, and uh, giving a counter should be less than the, the the length of the array, and also iterating with i plus plus. That's adding one to each uh, counter so that the loop will continue and you have an infinite loop okay while this loop continues or while the loop happens we're going to do some things which is like we're going to find the final this, this final keyword spinner module call it s c h e d we have to instantiate with a new key new spinner model okay we set the s c h e d to the set company name gotten by the uh the value of the company and also the uh, iterator, which is the counter, you know. So we're going to set the image to with the image and the counter, and we're going to set the URL, you know, the HTTP, www dot, the value of the company name based on its counter array, you know, which is the I, you know, with the dot com. This is by concatenating them together. Okay, that's fine. Let's talk about the customer data very quickly. Custom adapter uh, extends our real adapter. We have the private activity, the private array list, you know, data, and also the resources. We'll talk about that very quickly. Custom you know, activity, data, resources, and the temporary values, you know, and also the inflator. So we're going to have a constructor for the custom adapter where we're going to set the custom spinner activity spinner, the text view resource ID, the array list, and the resource address, giving it the rest of the call. Okay, we have some super activity that correspond to this whereby we can't uh, populate everything. So we call on those ones as well. Thereby, we pass the values, the activity, give it the activity spinner, data, the objects, the rest, and the rest local. Okay, we there's a layer to flavor to collect an XML layout whereby we get the system service passing into the inflator. We override the get drop down view, passing on the position, the convert view, and the parent. We will also override the get view, passing on the position, the convert view, and the parent as well. Uh, we're going to we have a method called get custom view, whereby the position and the convert view and the parent is also specified. And we lay the spinner rows to far for each row. This is where we get the we get each row for the spinner. We set the temporary values to null, and we're also like casting the spinner module to the data get data by getting the position. The label, the sub and the company label, which is the label, the URL and the company label, we get the ID through their respective uh, XML value ID. So we're going to set the position now. So if the position is equal to zero, the default selected spinner item. So we're going to set the label to text. Please select company based on the URL and of the set text is empty. If not, so we're going to set it. Uh, we're going to get the company name. We're going to get the URL. Assign it to the label and also the sub uh, uh, variable, and also the company logo. They're going to assign the set image resources, which is going to get from the part where the images is are, which is from the rest folder, getting the identifier, and also moving down to the drawable and adding the temporary values and getting the image method. Whereby this is just a, a sort of directory to where those images are. Whereby they're sitting in my drawable over here, the rest folder at first, the drawable, and also those images will be populated appropriately to the particular spinner. If you're using the array, uh, the custom spinner set this data array, the method rather, uh, based on the array of the company and also the uh, for loop you know, to iterate through those uh, data. Okay, uh, let's look at the Android manifest quickly. Okay, this is just a simple Android manifest, just where we set the interpreter, you know, the main class, which is also the logic class, which is uh, the custom spinner demo and the label. Okay, the custom spinner is the, is the main class. Okay, that's fine. 
All right, I would like to launch this to my journey motion emulator so that we can actually see how it's been populated and how it flows. Okay, uh, click on my run button. Uh, I would like to bring my journey motion to foreground. Okay, so we can actually see what the spinner holds for us. Okay, now uh, it has been compiled successfully. I would like to launch it onto the Generation. Set it to the view. Okay. Uh, this is the first place select company uh, that is available to add to, to tell us to select a company. Once you click on this drop down menu, what do you find? You find a set of drop down menu that actually has the company's logo and also the name of the uh, company and the URL. To the company's uh, website, you know, Apple, Google, Coca Cola, Microsoft, IBM, Toyota, you know, Real Madrid. You know, this is just a customized spinner, which is very, very you know, eye catching, you know, very useful for you in your application. It's quite different from a list view. You know. It's actually going to categorize something more better for you. You can see that it's very different from this view. So well, once you now click on each uh, item, it's populated onto the uh, the spinner uh, bar, you know, thereby replacing it with a piece select uh, an item. You know. And you can actually extend this to probably to another uh, uh, fragment or to another activity that will actually undo this right in the same uh, fragment. You know. So you can be able to do something more meaningful with this. Uh, I will upload my city source code to my GitHub account right here on your screen so that you can pick the source code from here and use it in possible application. Thank you very, very much for listening. Hope you actually got one or two things here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful and pleasant moment. Bye bye.